Hello, Fizzles family and friends. This is the daily message for Thursday, January 6th, Epiphany Day. Uh, and today we will complete our readings from Jesus Crisis, the 2021-22 Advent through Epiphany, a devotional book published by the Pilgrim Press and written by the authors of the UCC Still Speaking Writers Group. Our final um, devotional in the book is by a friend of mine, Reverend Marilyn Pagan Banks. And Reverend Pagan Banks is pastor of San Lucas UCC and executive director of A Just Harvest, an adjunct professor at McCormick Theological Seminary in Chicago. Her title for her Epiphany devotional is Popular Wisdom. And her scriptural reference is Matthew 2, verses 10 and 11. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. And now her devotional. Dare I bring up what happened last year? Of course. I don't believe anyone will ever think of Epiphany and not remember the shocking and violent attack that took place on the nation's capital on January 6, 2021. I hope we remember not simply to stay stuck in our politics or hold on to trauma, but to observe, reflect, and learn. To do better and to be different. To expect and accept accountability. To continue healing, growing, and building so that we can do the work of ending hate and building the beloved community. This is why we repeat the biblical stories, so we can recall, remember, and recommit ourselves as followers of Christ, so we can learn from the lived experience, popular wisdom, and even human horrors found in these stories, and perhaps try to locate ourselves in them as we seek direction from yesterday's harms and for today's challenges. God wants us to live, heal, have joy, and be love, and will stop at nothing to make sure we experience it. The entire universe is conspiring on our behalf. Are we paying attention to the signs? Are we open to God's disruptive spirit, calling us to new possibilities? Are we ready to let go of our fear and privilege? To own our place and place to own our place and collective power, to listen to our dreams and allow the universe to guide us, to pay homage to the love and gifts around us, within us. And her prayer. Thank you, Creator, for wisdom from unexpected places. We are grateful for the stars that guide the night, dreams that inspire and protect us and your Son that leads us in love and power. Amen and Selah. I've enjoyed bringing you these daily reflections, um, and I hope you have uh, found them rewarding and helped it you in your uh, observance of Advent, Christmas time, and now the season of Epiphany. And so I hope that uh, we'll be able to continue these online discussions, particularly through the Saturday series on the Psalms, other periodic um, meditations or messages online uh, for reflection, and through the recorded worship services and our uh, weekly Zoom devotional following worship on Sundays. Wishing you all a blessed epiphany as we reflect on the gifts that were brought to Jesus and the gift that Jesus is in our lives, a light shining in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. Until we talk again, stay safe, stay healthy, stay strong, and I know that God is continuing to bless us. Goodbye for now, and happy epiphany.